A couple of big reports coming out next week. Uh, livestock slaughter, cattle on feed. I'm going to let you um, preview those for us. And I have a pretty good idea uh, what you're going to be watching for. Yeah, so I, I feel like a broken record when we have this conversation because, I, I, I again, I think livestock slaughter, uh, especially without a, a July cattle report, we're going to be focused on beef cow slaughter in that report at least a little bit to see whether there's any signs of building. You know, I, I, I can hear anecdotally stories on both ends of the spectrum when it comes to um, th this idea of whether cow herds are growing. I, I think that might have a little bit to do with we do have some operations that are already trying to grow. Uh, other operations, maybe not as well off from a forage standpoint yet, not growing. Uh, so I'm not surprised anecdotally to hear a lot of that all over the board. What we actually get out of that livestock slaughter report will be important. And of course, cattle on feed. Um, Placement number will be big as well. Uh, for And also what happens to on-feed inventory when we were below um, a year ago last month. Um, will that continue in this month's report for cattle on feed? Um, just how tight are we going to get uh, will continue to, I think, to be the focus. And we don't have half our data in this month's cattle on feed, or do we? I don't. I So, Megan, I don't think we do this month. Um, I, I think we're still a month away, but you, you catch me uh, not not remembering <laughs> for sure whether we're on the right quarter or not yet. 